Hello guys. So today we are back with two more questions related to MongoDB. So these are the questions. Today we are going to go through. First one is the transaction in MongoDB, which took place with I 4.0 versions. And second thing, the objects, the schema, data, object type, data, passed in Mongoose. Mongoose is basically nothing, it's kind of ODM, object data model. Let's start with the first topic, which is transaction in MongoDB. Well, so to start up, let's define a JavaScript file, saying it as a Mongo, Mongo transaction dot JS. Okay. So there are multiple things we are going to study first of all in this. Okay. What are transactions to be precise? Okay, so transaction is nothing. So what it does is like it converts, converts, it converts multiple data operations into single operation, single transaction to be precise. It is why it's used. Okay, and the list of these operation happened from 4.0 MongoDB version. Okay. Now let's go with an example, setting it here. So now let's see. Example. Admin and admin wants to update. Active status for all the users. For all users. Okay. In a collection okay like to it so what we will use we will use either update menu or update we will either use update menu or update with menu true correct okay now this query is every query of this will update all documents and updation of each and every document is kind of an atomic operation Okay, but the entire process, entire process is not an atomic operation. Okay. So, so every operation is an atomic operation. It's just single, single operations, my my, my operation, but the entire is not. Okay. So there were two things available between 4.0 MongoDB. So with 4.0, it started with transactions and 4.2, it started transactions for Shardy. Here it was for databases. Okay, we will jump in sometime later on with sharding as well. Okay, so why we are using transactions? Okay, so basic thing is like we are using because it's as a read data mod data modeling and which goes with schema validation which is mainly required for databases and helps us giving us multi document transactions lastly encryption is okay so where to use and how to use okay Transactions are basically used everywhere where we want to execute some data and write both operations as an, as, an, as an atomic operation. That means if any operation failed, then all the transactions are failed. Okay, so in a bit many, if any of the fail, entire transaction is failed. Even in this case, because we're passing many, it's true. Okay, so going an example, let's define Node.js with MongoDB transaction. Okay, using strict. Okay. Going with an example of on stream, uh, we're using MongoDB, obviously. Uh, let's install it. The package we need to install.
Okay. Uh, let's go with this transactions. Okay. Transactions will be empty. Empty ID. So what we will do first? So we will first connect our database. Okay. So for this, we will use basic functions like let's say defining connect DB equal to async process, and it will be defining uh, MongoDB connect. Okay, mongodb dot connect, and the db URL, and the topology parameter is use or URL password. Okay, now this is done. Let's do the next thing would be executing mongodb transactions okay so in this case we are using transactions array we are defining execute so execute transaction and inside that we are defining like you can say like the connection for transaction we need <clears throat> okay using connect db now let's define the db object which would be using the connection for transaction dot db okay now let's make a session using this we would be using on this uh, we'll be using connection for transaction dot start session let's start starting and session dot we are starting a transaction right We're using start transaction okay so let's have our try catch blocks Okay, so what's our criteria? Okay, so criteria let ops of ops basically uh, we have session and checking a return. So why we're using this? So we are basically writing some basic DB queries, and if any queries fail, the whole will get rejected, and our data will not be modified. So based on that, we are creating some sessions and writing some DB queries. Nothing much. Okay. Same about writing more queries like constant data equal to you can say await DB dot. collection let's say user using find one object and let's say there's a criteria we want to find current criteria is empty and finding all the objects first objects returning empty array and with the optional arguments converting the response to array Okay, so if all queries are successfully executed, then a session will commit a transaction, right? Using session dot commit transaction. Okay, but if this, uh, but after a successful transaction gets ended, the connection must be closed, right? 
we are using session dot in session closing the session and connection for transaction dot close so the transaction is done okay the transaction is done and we are doing a simple query this is a simple query we committed transaction we end the session done okay let's have for a edge block okay in this case it doesn't matter let's use we are using session dot abort transactions we also again when we are going to end the session here also and we are using con closing the connection as well transition connection and let's show there as well so even this won't be accessible then. We throw the C throw, so call, the calling function C is there. So, okay. So that is very basic. What we did is like, we initially set up a MongoDB connection. We started executing the MongoDB transactions. So we first connected to DB. Once it was ready, we started a session. Then we had a package block, where we find one value in the MongoDB. It was successful, we are committing the transaction. We are ending the session, done, closing connection again. As an error, we are using uh, a bot transaction and I'm using session, ending a session again, same thing. And then we are using again closing the connection. So, it was a very basic example like how Mongo transaction works. Transaction is Mongo box basically. So, this covers our first topic the question basically. So, let's go to the second topic. Now there is MongoDB, Mongo's models. Okay. Or we can say Mongo's object model. Okay. So again, okay. going with definitions. So Mongo's. So we have Mongo's here. Okay. Mongo's object. So Mongoose object is nothing like you can say, for example, like a, it is an data modeling object. Object, object data modeling, which runs on a singleton object. Okay, for example, so when you define like where Mongoose, you're using require Mongoose. Okay then um you are using a method connect method for example okay we are using mongoose dot connect and your db url and then we are using, uh, you can say, let's say, console dot. Oops, sorry. We didn't define a function properly. Similar, let's define here also in the catch block. So we have as Okay, so here this is like returning a singleton object, the required Mongo objects. Okay, so which means when we're calling the first time required Mongo, it is, it is it is creating an instance. Okay, instance of Mongo's class and it returns and returns it okay 
So it will return the same instance, which was first initially created. And because uh, we are still in the same uh, object file running, right? The file when once it is done, it will return the same object. Okay. So how it goes like we call, we call a request or mongoose object, it loads the module and it goes to the ES6 module when it returns the connect object. Then you have the data, it fetches a mongoose packet, then it goes to the catch and returns the model. This is a process which mongoose follows. Now, significance of date object. Okay, so what very object, right? We why we use object. So we have defining of, so we are defining the schema. Okay, so schema is nothing like where document properties pass through an object. Okay, and the key name responds to collection. Okay, going in example let user schema using new mongoose object, new mongoose dot schema. Okay. And user, user. So it would be number. Okay. So this is where from data passes to an object. Okay. And we have so on available data, like you can say, we have array, then we have buffer, date, mixed, object ID, mixed and object ID, I define the mongoose schema or types. Okay. So defining an object ID. So it would be uh, mongoose dot schema dot types and here you have object ID defined this way okay and then it, the model is exported using mongoose dot model the name and the schema use the schema name. okay so this is significant of data of pass. So we have multiple data types here we are passing here and these are data types you pass. And this is all the data is uh, passed to an object from MongoDB. I think that MongoDB object significant answers the question. Thank you guys for attending. Thank you.